What is good, HPC? So good to see you today. Glad you decided to join us for this daily devotional. Been missing you guys. Probably the last time you saw me, I may have had a different color hair. But today we are jumping in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. And this is the words in red, so we should listen up. This is the man himself, Jesus, talking. He says, You are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. And then Jesus drops the mic and walks off. He kind of left it on a, a harsh note right there. But I love this verse, man. I love it because it is a direct command. Jesus is talking to his disciples. And I hope you know that that includes you and me. You hopefully see yourself and understand yourself as not just somebody who believes in Jesus, but as a disciple of Christ, somebody to be disciplined and shaped and molded to lead the life in following Jesus that he's created you to live in. So he's talking to us and he's letting you know you are the salt of the earth. I'm talking to you out there. You're the salt of the earth. Do you know that? Do you understand that? Do you see yourself in that? I love it because the word it emphasizes on you right there, on exactly who he's talking about in this specific calling that involves yourself. He's talking to us. But I love also that he doesn't say you're becoming or you can become or you, you can eventually get to be. He says, no, you are the salt of the earth. Later on, he goes to say, you're the light of the world. But I love that he says, you are those things. You see, as Christians, we are those things. As children of God, we are those things. Whether you're choosing to walk in them or not, you still are. You have the ability inside you because whenever the Spirit of God inhabited you, it gave you that ability. You now have the fruit of the Spirit, peace, patience, joy, kindness, etc. I'm not going to try to list them all right now because I would probably mess up, then I'd be embarrassed and make them refilm this. But once you have received Jesus, you get those gifts. You become the salt of the earth and the light of the world. You know, it's not a thing that we have to work to become, but it is something we have to choose to walk in. You know, I love the verse that says, uh, we've been given not the spirit of fear, but one of love and peace of a sound mind. But yet, I'm 34 years old. I've been following Jesus for about 13 years now. And there's many times that I have walked in fear, even though I've not been given the spirit of fear, but I can choose to walk in different things. See, so Jesus is saying right here, you are the salt of the earth. So please walk in it. Walk in it. You are it, whether you feel like it, whether your mama told you you are, whether your daddy told you you are, whether the your person next to you and set by you in the second grade told you you are. It doesn't matter what they said you are. Jesus, the creator of heaven and earth, the one that was there at the beginning with the word and with the word was God and with him was, but through him all of earth was created, says you are the salt of the earth. So see yourself that way. Choose to walk in it. There's more fruit in you than there is on you. But boy, Jesus wants to pull it out of you. See, holiness isn't just about what we don't do, but it's also about what we do do. It's about what we walk in, the spirit we walk in, how we talk, how we treat people, how we react to different situations and adversity. Man, that is how you walk in things. And he says, you are the salt of the earth. What is salt? Man, salt is something that goes in and changes things. See, back in those ancient times, salt was a very important thing. And why was it important? Because whenever salt impacted something, things were different. Man, meat used to be bad, but now you put some salt on it and it's good. Somebody's cooking used to be bad, then you put some salt on it and it's edible. But salt was also used to fertilize land. It was used to, to it represented purity. It was used to, uh, to uh, in small doses for so many different things, even medicinally for different things. But Jesus goes on to say, what good is salt that loses its saltiness? And here in 2023, we know salt doesn't lose its saltiness. Sodium is actually a stable uh, molecule. But what happened was salt in that day, whenever they would scoop salt up, it would have so much other debris in it that they realized did not taste salty at all, was not any good for the, the most honorable uses. But they found out they could do something with it. 
And what it was good for was that they could throw it on the mud, or they could throw it on their patio, or they could throw it on some construction projects, and it would actually harden the dirt in order for people to walk on it. So Jesus isn't saying a rhetorical question, hey, what good is it if it loses its saltiness? He's really saying, hey, there is salt that's good, that still doesn't taste good, but it still gets used. So what Jesus is really saying here is he's saying every child of God will get used, but you will either be used for honorable use, for flavoring things, for impacting things, for the joy, the life, the peace, the the uh, zeal that you bring to environments, to change environments, because that's what the Spirit of God inside of you is created to do. The peace that you walk in in the midst of adversity and chaos, that's what the Spirit of God has called you to do. That's what saltiness looks like. You can either walk in that, or you can choose not to walk in it and have people trample on you and still be used in a different stance, but to be stepped on and to be walked on. And I know that's not God's heart for you. That's not your heart for you, your desire for you. So, man, let's stay salty, my friends. Let's stay in our word. Man, let's stay in the presence of God. And, man, let's make a difference every room that we walk into. You received that today. I love you so much. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Hope you have a fantastic day.